World War II, a global conflict of unprecedented scale and ferocity. While armies clashed on land and navies battled at sea, a new dimension of warfare emerged, the sky. Air power became a decisive factor, with fighter planes engaging in deadly dogfights that determined the fate of battles below. The skies above Europe and the Pacific became a whirlwind of twisting metal and roaring engines. Skilled pilots, often little more than teenagers, dueled in the clouds. Their lives depended on lightning-fast reflexes, nerves of steel, and a keen awareness of the enemy's every move. But in the heat of battle, danger lurked in every shadow. The enemy could appear out of nowhere, a silent predator diving from the sun. Visibility was limited, and surprise attacks were a constant threat. For fighter pilots, awareness of their surroundings was a matter of life and death. The need for better situational awareness became painfully clear. Pilots needed a way to see the enemy, even when they couldn't be seen with the naked eye. This need gave birth to one of the most significant technological advancements in aerial warfare radar. In the early days of World War II, radar technology was in its infancy. But as the conflict raged on, Scientists and engineers on both sides of the Atlantic raced to develop new and more sophisticated radar systems. One such system, developed by the United States Army Air Forces, USAAF, would prove to be a game-changer, the AN-APS-13. The AN-APS-13 was a tail-warning radar designed specifically for use on fighter aircraft. Its purpose was simple, to alert pilots to the presence of enemy aircraft approaching from behind. This was a critical capability, as surprise attacks from the rear were a common and deadly tactic in aerial combat. The development of the AN-APS-13 was a remarkable feat of engineering. It had to be small and lightweight enough to be mounted on a fighter plane without significantly impacting its performance. It also had to be reliable and accurate, capable of detecting enemy aircraft at a sufficient range to give the pilot time to react. The AN-APS-13 operated on the same basic principles as other radar systems. It emitted radio waves that would bounce off objects in their path, including enemy aircraft. These reflected waves, or echoes, were then detected by the radar receiver. By analyzing the time delay between the transmission of the radar signal and the reception of the echo, the AN-APS-13 could determine the range and approximate bearing of the target. This information was then relayed to the pilot via a simple audio warning system. When an enemy aircraft entered the radar's detection range, a distinctive buzzing sound would alert the pilot. The closer the enemy aircraft got, the louder and more frequent the buzzing became. This gave the pilot a clear indication of the threat and allowed them to take evasive action. Section 4. Turning the Tide. The Impact on Aerial Warfare. The introduction of the AN-APS-13 radar had a profound impact on aerial combat. For the first time, fighter pilots had a reliable way of detecting enemy aircraft approaching from behind, significantly reducing the element of surprise. This newfound situational awareness proved to be a major advantage for USAF pilots. They were now able to anticipate and counter enemy attacks more effectively, leading to a marked decrease in losses. The AN-APS-13 quickly gained a reputation as a lifesaver, earning the nickname the little black box that saved a lot of lives. The radar system was particularly effective in the vast expanses of the Pacific theater, where visibility was often limited and surprise attacks were a constant threat. It played a crucial role in helping to turn the tide of the air war against the Japanese. Section 5. Beyond the Dogfights, the AN-APS-13's Legacy in Aviation the AN-APS-13 radar system was a testament to the ingenuity and technological prowess of the USAAF during World War II. It represented a major leap forward in aerial warfare technology and had a lasting impact on the development of radar systems for decades to come. The success of the AN-APS-13 paved the way for the development of even more sophisticated radar systems, not just for military applications but also for civilian aviation. Today, radar is an essential tool for air traffic control, navigation, and weather forecasting. The principles behind the AN-APS-13 continue to influence the design of modern radar warning receivers, or RWRs, which are standard equipment on military aircraft today. These systems provide pilots with a 360-degree view of the airspace around them, detecting and identifying potential threats from all directions. Section 6. From Radar to Stealth, 
the evolution of aerial combat technology. The advent of radar in World War II marked a turning point in aerial combat. It shifted the balance of power from brute force and maneuverability to situational awareness and technological superiority. This trend has continued to this day, with advances in radar technology driving the development of new countermeasures. One of the most significant developments in recent decades has been the emergence of stealth technology. Stealth aircraft are designed to minimize their radar signature, making them extremely difficult to detect and track. This has led to a cat-and-mouse game between radar designers, who are constantly striving to develop more powerful and sophisticated systems, and stealth engineers, who are equally determined to stay one step ahead. The evolution of aerial combat technology has been a constant race between offense and defense. As new technologies emerge, they create new challenges and opportunities, driving further innovation and development. Section 7. The Future of Air Superiority, A Look Beyond the Horizon As we look to the future of aerial combat, it is clear that technology will continue to play a pivotal role. Artificial intelligence or AI, directed energy weapons, and hypersonic flight are just a few of the emerging technologies that have the potential to revolutionize warfare in the skies. AI-powered drones, capable of autonomous flight and decision-making, could soon become a common sight on the battlefield. Directed energy weapons such as lasers and high-powered microwaves could provide instantaneous and highly accurate strikes against enemy aircraft, and hypersonic missiles traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5 could overwhelm even the most sophisticated air defense systems. The future of air superiority will belong to those who can harness the power of these new technologies and integrate them effectively into their military doctrines. The ANAPS-13 radar, a humble invention born out of the crucible of World War II, serves as a powerful reminder that even in the midst of conflict, human ingenuity can find ways to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges.